What's going on guys, welcome back to Cheeky Crypto, I am JB, three days left to go, we are on the countdown for the XRP party over in New York City. If you guys like this video coming to you today, please do give us a like, please do subscribe, tapping on the bell, selecting all notifications so you never miss a video coming to you from Cheeky Crypto and if you are watching this on X, please do give us a like and a repost. Guys, it really does help out the channel, you guys liking, reposting, commenting, all the usual good stuff. Let's get straight on down to this, we have three days left until the big party over in New York. York City. We do see the comments coming through on the channel. Also, it's great to see what you guys are thinking of what's going on over there. Is it going to be a nothing burger or are we going to see quite an announcement? It's still yet to be seen. All eyes on the 29th of September. But we're here for TA. Let's have a look at the TA, what's going on in the charts, the price action for XRP. But we'll start off here. XRP paired up with USDT, the one hour time frame. BitGet is the data source for today's video. Where we left off yesterday, we were looking for the final push down here in this fifth week. Wave, not going as low as we were you know kind of expecting in this fifth wave however we do see it met its minimum requirement by crossing lower than the wave three low at 49.567 cent so we can confirm here the fifth wave low at 49.122 cent we have obviously pushed on up here where we do see quite a quite a sizable push to the upside here so we were looking at this yesterday we were looking for the push up for the price action for XRP. So first of all, what we can look at here is our first port of call. We are looking for the retracement of this move to the downside as our starting point. We're looking for a move between 50.791 cent to as high as 52.104 cent. That will be our typical retracement area for this push to the upside. We can see we have came up, we have tested just low of the area, we have pushed straight on through equilibrium, the 50 EMA and the 200 EMA, we have closed a couple of candles above it, however dropping below, back up, dropping below, we see sideways moving over the last couple of hours. Um, obviously this going into what, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock last night, UTC plus 1, a sideways market, however... If we do look here, we are setting lower lows, we are setting lower highs to an extent. We do expect another break to the upside for XRP. I do see this coming on up into this typical retracement area. So a couple of checks we can do here. We can mark out, mark out these areas we're expecting. The 50 to 80% drop to the downside. We have technically met this area by wicking into it several times. We may push down into this area a couple more times yet before this push to the upside. Where we can chart out or we can target out our, you know, target area for this push to the upside, which may be a fantastic trading opportunity should you wish to trade this one. We will be looking to push up to 51.816 to as high as 51.423. What we'll do is we'll colour these differently so we know what we're looking at here. For references, we'll give these nice white boxes. What this would actually look like would be a way, an A wave up coming down in this B wave with a C wave to the upside. We'll get rid of this arrow so we have clarity on the charts. We are looking for a push to the upside for XRP. We have an oversold one hour time frame. The four hour is in a decent enough position as well that we can expect this push to the upside. What we can also see inside of here, we do have these liquidity blocks which may be likely grabbed on this push to the upside. We do currently have a strong high, not expected to be broken. However, I do think in time we will see this strong high here changed. Obviously, we do have the weak low. But yeah, guys, I do expect us to push on into this area. This may become a weak high, pushing this higher, and we may see an impulsive move for XRP. Again, all this leading up to the 29th. Only a few days left to go for this big party over in New York City. Fantastic to hear your guys' thoughts. So yeah, continue to let us know what you think is going on there on the 29th of September. Moving on, we can jump over onto the one-day time frame. Where nothing much has changed yet, we are still obviously monitoring this push to the um, the 50 and 200 EMA. We have breached it once, we have closed below it both times however, on the 200 EMA that is, but we do see the possibility that we will have the 50 EMA crossing lower than the 200 EMA, giving us a death cross here on the one day time frame. It doesn't look overly great for the price action for XRP in the longer term. With the stochastics starting to push down on the one day, we can expect this move to continue down to our target area of 39.214 cent to as low as 35.214 cent. All things are still looking good within structure here for XRP. 
Moving up guys, we're blasting right on through this today. We'll look at the weekly charts where again you can see we are monitoring this movement that's going on this week. We have been ranging here between the 50 EMA and the 200 EMA over the past few weeks. Will we see this continue or will we see a breakout from this area pushing up back onto this trend line that we have been monitoring for quite some time? It's going to be very interesting to see how this week closes on Sunday. Will we see a break out of the 50 EMA or potentially will we see this break on down from the 200 EMA giving us the very bearish sign, which again, we have been monitoring this kind of move. We are expecting the push down here to the target area, 33.2 cent to 30 cent over on the Binance weekly chart. I have just realised my camera is not on. I do apologise. I don't know if it has been on much of this video at all. I can only apologise for that one, guys. What we will do, we will quickly dive over to memberships.cheekycrypto.io, your one-stop shop for all things crypto. Fantastic um, website put together by Nick Chris and the developers. There is a seven-day free trial on all plans. No obligation to stay on. Go up to your profile and you can cancel your membership from there before any payments are taken. Fantastic opportunities here, guys. Live MAs twice weekly, live TA sessions twice weekly. TA on request, the one hour, the four hour, the one day charts. There's also the trading ideas generated from our trading bot. There is the opportunities to learn Elliott Wave Theory, smart money concepts, managing your risks and your portfolio in the space. Reviews on over 250 projects. The accumulation zones put together by Nick, where he expects the projects to go in this bear market. And obviously the all new data portal where we can monitor all things on chain. But we are here, we are talking XRP, we are talking the timeframes, where we do expect it to go, guys. Please do let us know in the comments down below. Firstly, what you feel is going to go on over in New York on the 29th of September. What kind of party are we expecting? What kind of announcements are we expecting? Secondly, please do let us know your thoughts on the price action, where you think XRP may be going in the near to long term future. I can only apologise for the camera not being on today, guys. We will wrap that one up there, though. If you are going to trade, please do trade safely. Have a nice tight stop loss making some great gains, staying safe in the space. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.